Hi everybody. The, for this lesson, we're gonna make what's called either a God's eye or a tiger's eye. And at the end of last year, some of my older students made these and we use popsicle sticks. But if you're like me, I don't have popsicle sticks at home right now. And so I used just plain sticks that I found outside off of the tree. Uh, I just pulled some off, took all of the secondary branches off of them and made them nice and smooth and came back inside with two branches that looked like this. And you don't need glue, you don't need tape, all you need is sticks and yarn for this project. Um, for mine, I use red, yellow, and blue yarn. You can also use twine, you can use uh, gardening twine, shoelaces, string, any embroidery floss, anything that is string-like you can use for this project. Uh, you can even use ribbon for it. Anything you want fi uh, to find at home to make one of these would be great. That's what it looks like from the back. This is what it looks like on the front. Should look kind of like a diamond shape when you're all finished. So let's get started. Here's my two sticks. They are about the length of my hand. They're not super big, probably about six inches or less. I'm going to take them and make them into a X shape. And I have my string already pre-cut. Uh, if you're remembering from art class, I usually tell you to get two arm lengths. But as long as you get a nice long piece of yarn to start off with, you're good. You're going to need a long one to start with because you need to wrap around the center to get the sticks to stay together. Since we're not using glue, uh, you have to use extra string when you first start off. So don't start with a small piece, get an extra big piece. You're gonna take the end of the string and hold on to it with the hand that you're holding the sticks together with. Once you do that, you're gonna kind of wrap it across one way and the other way. Kind of wrapping the sticks together so that you don't have to hold them anymore. There's no rhyme or reason to how you do this part. Just kind of get it so that you don't have to actually physically hold the sticks together anymore. If you want to glue it and you have a hot glue gun at home, great. If not, do this the way I did and it's no problem at all. So what you can do at home too is you can number them. You can take like a Sharpie or a pencil and you can number each one of these sticks. One, two, three, and four. Um, let's see, I do have a silver Sharpie that I will do that with. If you don't wanna mark up your sticks, you can use painter's tape. Here's two, here's three, and then here is four. That way you can keep track of which stick you are actually circling around while you're doing this. So I'm gonna start with stick number one. See my number one? I'm gonna wrap my string around the back of it and then I'm gonna go around the number two stick. Then the number three stick. Then I'm holding on to the number four stick, so I'm gonna go behind the number four stick and wrap around that. And you're gonna keep doing this in the same pattern. So keep watching. It takes a little while to get the rhythm down, but once you get it, it's really fun to make these. And they kind of get addicting. So I'm gonna go around the one stick, the two stick, three stick, Four stick and the way you know you're doing it right is you start to see that diamond shaping in the center of your X where your sticks cross so back to one two three four make sure you're putting your strings next to each other not on top of because then you're gonna end up with a jumbled mess you want to lay it right next to the last string that you did. So I'm starting over at one, two, three, four. I know this can be kind of frustrating at first. You might want to have an adult help you with this, but once you get the hang of it, you're really going to have fun making these. And then you'll say that you want to make all kinds of them and you're going to ask for yarn after you get this done. It is really relaxing and fun to do and it really makes a neat design when you're all finished. So now I'm wrapping up my yellow string. What do you do when you finish one color of string and you wanna change a color? Well, or if you wanna just put it away, you can wrap your string around the stick and then set it down. Or 
you can tie the new string onto the last string that you did. So when I tie it, I make a knot. I do one knot and then I take and I do a second knot. I don't like those little tails, so I'll, I'll cut those off, but not right now. I'm gonna let it get woven into my tiger's eye. You can call it whatever you want, God's eye, tiger's eye, but you're just gonna go around and around, and eventually you're gonna cover up that knot that you made and it'll be blended in and you won't even see it. Oh, I got my sticks messed up there. I'm going around the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now when you're finished, I'm running out of sticks, so I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna take that and wrap it around my stick make a single knot, pull it nice and tight, and you have a string you can hang it from too. And you can cut these extra tails off that were there before. And there is your nice little woven stick, God's eye or tiger's eye.